my coffee and honey. I know, but I have an espresso machine, and that was uh, when I got my second location. Uh, I decided the most important instrument I could have up there would be an espresso machine. <laughs> <laughs> so you were loved, and you were adored, and you were admired, and you had all that. And your presence is really wonderful. Um, from a existential point of view, you are able to be heard without pretense, and that's very powerful speaking. And that doesn't come lightly; that takes a lot of effort. Uh, plus, you're uh, an iconoclast. You know, you kind of do you. Yeah. Uh, so, and you're uh, embraced by it all at once was really sweet. There wasn't yeah. a lot of people, but there was enough to let me know. Uh, this is really very cool. So I have some uh, offers, actually. I think they're pretty good. But how well, long? <laughs> so here's the, what we want to roll out, see if it fits for you. First, we want you to invite you to be on the faculty. Because Thank I think you. your panache and your background and when, I'm, when I look at the constellation of what we can create, there isn't anyone in the game who's put together the elements the way I believe we can, you being cardinal, because death, grief, death, and dying are essential to everybody, and no one has access to it, as no one has access to it. And the day, they have to wait till the end to figure it out. Yeah. And, you know, except, you know, if you're using halogens and your whatever method you're using is to get all that out of the way but on a daily basis there isn't mm, a set of distinctions that allows you to be with the discomfort of it all and at the same time be uh, give you a greater sense of freedom 100 percent. well said mark yeah, so i i think there's a contribution that you can make just by your presence we in, so that I'm assuming that's a yes. So what we do is we have calls every Friday and we'll add you to the list. You can make the ones you want. And if you can, we understand because people are people and have shit to do, uh, <laughs> but we'll record it. And so who's on the call is our, right now is our faculty and our leadership team are our, our one. The, hopefully by 2023, that's kind of <clears throat> different. Um, but I think you also give us access to funding because yes. if you are, you know, when I pitch this thing and they say you on faculty, that will give them some, oh shit, that, it's pretty good. They've got that. Yeah. No, no, none that I know, conscious eldering, modern elder, all that stuff, they don't have you yeah. or whatever you represent. So that's uh, a, that's a, if I may, that's, that's a significant notice. Um, I just got off a call with um, a colleague of mine who works in the healthcare business, and um, nobody wants to talk about the great tsunami that's coming towards our communities in numbers that we have never before experienced. We can't even handle what we got now. No. <laughs> no. And and there's a, there's 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 a lot of us coming towards a system that's already struggling with the impact of COVID, for example. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, if we can help individuals and families get their feet underneath them around end of life so they can die consciously in their family home, wow. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, but we need more than, we need, a presence that's bigger than individualism, and that's yeah. that's tough to get. So yeah. we're trying to become the Google of of eldering or something. I don't know how to call this thing. It's like I, I now touch base with all the people who some of the people who do this eldering stuff, from uh, Aboriginals to modern elder to conscious elder to newsletters to the people who are care about it who are passionate about it and but they're mostly about having old a being okay with getting old that's yeah. what they but they're not beyond that working from here you're going to die 
and work backwards from that future because people are afraid to die. So they won't be with that. So we're all on the same page. So as we move through this, we have, uh, my view is my Venn diagram. So we have spirituality, we have intellectual, we have sensitive, you know, the senses. That's what all our stuff is about when we take them hiking. And we have the uh, metaphysical, the spiritual. So we, and then you put them all together. There's a, a thing in the middle called your Venn. And and that's a, a contemporary elder. Yep. So it's not about getting liking getting old or getting used to getting old. But this is about going out there after you understand what you just said, and being the conduit for people to have that conversation. But they won't have it unless they feel safe. They won't have that unless they're they're they have sanctuary. They won't have that unless they're willing to have their fear show. And an elder is the vehicle for that to happen. That's what I think. And so I'm with you 100%, Mark. And uh, that's exactly what's required um, is, is a, an elder who's vested in their death that knows it's coming. I mean, I got a preference. I don't want to get run down by a car. <laughs> I'd rather die in my bed, but that I die. I'm really uh, at rest with. And from that place, I'm able to sit with others who aren't quite there yet and help them walk towards that being at rest with our death. I, that's the that's one access point. The, the other access point is what I do, which is, okay, and I'm going to ask it strangely, but it is so accurate. Who am I that death is? Who am I that death is? That and that inquiry opens up well you to who who you are that death is, yeah. and that becomes a possibility for them to yeah. be engaged in that rather than what they have unrecognized but now have found of who they are that death is, and so there's a thing that we can do that opens up this door. So what we're going to ask you to do, <laughs> because it's always part of the ask, is that there is now a series that we are doing live. First will be Judy doing her um, meditation and, and, and some debrief at the end of her meditations uh, about where people are as they engage in life and where their problems are and getting relatedness and all of that. That is a Sangha only call. That's the first of the month. The second call of the month is that, plus <clears throat> uh, uh, guests that are going to be invited to witness what we're doing. Because, you know, if this is something that's missing, so Judy will do the meditation, we'll have people share, we'll have something going on where people get to see what elder is, what, what they're struggling with to become an elder. Yeah. The second series in March is you and Judy. So uh, Judy will open with her meditation. You'll be on the Friday call, so we'll be able to um, reach to shape the meditation to fit what you're doing. Um, I'm going to be coaching you a bit. Um, I'll be coaching you a bit. But you're, you've got everything. It's not about talent. It's about some adjustment to yeah. your speaking um, and uh, because you speak in uh, you speak in sentences not in questions yeah. and so that's going to be helpful to be able to bring a certain um, inquiry a, a Socratic so you got a little homework to do a reading about a Socratic inquiry and appreciative inquiry because yeah. you have to that's a skill set that will be really helpful for you to master you're so close it's just that you speak with such certainty yeah i do <laughs> there's no room for people going you yeah, know that's not me Thank and you. that doesn't help so you got to have people your eldering learning is, is is how to expand your inclusivity as opposed yeah. to your knowledge um but this will be a good one for you and so we're going to do the uh the first and the third call first only with sangha and the second call uh, in the third week of March uh, with um, uh, guests. 
as, as well. Um, and then we'll get feedback about how much more they want and where they want to go with it, because we don't know. Yep. Uh, but let the Sangha decide. And I think they'll make decisions that will get start getting you pretty busy. Uh, I might use this video today to let people the Sangha know what we're what there was a senator who recently died. He is he was known for his expression called good trouble. And um, <laughs> we're going to get into good trouble here. I'm liking it, Mark. I'm liking it. <laughs>